My people, my people, my people, this is Smile Jamaica. Hello again to our friends watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Now, the start of the summer season has not officially begun. However, it seems we have been experiencing higher than normal temperatures at this time. Here to tell us why and what to do is the director of the Meteorological Service, Evan Thompson. Good morning, Mr. Thompson. Hi, good morning, Empress. Good to see you this morning. It's good to see you. We are alive and well, so give thanks. Uh, let, me, let me ask you, Mr. Thompson, how hot yes. has it been to date and what, are, what is projected with the temperature? Well, we're all already seeing some temperatures that are a little bit above the norm. Um, that we're seeing um, in terms of Celsius, um, degrees Celsius, we're getting into the, the low to mid 30s, we are at about 33, in some cases up to 34 degrees Celsius already um, going into the month of June. And usually, you know, temperatures would continue to inch up moving toward July and even into August. So we're a little bit tentative, just kind of watching the temperatures as they are. But the projection is that temperatures will continue to be above the norm. What was the highest peak last year in during the summer? Last year, we had temperatures going up to, let me see now, I think it was 35.9 or something like that. Uh -huh. um, uh, yes, it was, it was thir close to 36 degrees. It was 35.9, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, as temperatures, one degree Celsius is quite significant for us, you know. So temperatures rising by a half of a degree is noticeable, can be felt by anyone ever. Do you think it's going to get hotter? I do believe so. Um, we're not yet at the peak of I mean, the summer period. Sorry, Mr. Tom, I mean, do you think it will get hotter than the 36 degrees that we saw last year? You mean in terms of, you know, from year to year? Mm -hmm. we, we could see it warmer this year than it was last year because we are expecting above normal temperatures. We could also be seeing that as we move forward um, past this year into next and the following years, we could be seeing temperatures in increasing as well because that is the trend that we have noticed over time that temperatures are actually going a little bit higher and higher every year um in the past few years we have seen where each year we see that the temperature is now breaking another record what is the um, cause of the high temperatures why are we seeing such a spike well the, the the fact is that there is global warming that is taking place we are seeing the whole globe that is warming up and it is having its, its effect right across the all countries. So we're seeing that with climate changing, that is what is, is being experienced. And that starts a number of other things happening, like the increasing sea, sea surface, um, the, the levels, the sea levels. And we're also seeing a number of other things happening, you know, when these temperatures increase, because it makes some changes to our whole climate patterns right across the world. Mr. So Thompson, many, many people talking. may not, it, it's a very sexy word, uh, sexy term, global warming. I mean, it's on the lips of a lot of activists, but I'm not sure if the average person or the average Jamaican truly understands what global warming is and the contribution we make to it. Could you help enlighten us? Yes, um, global warming is really the increasing temperatures around the globe, the atmospheric temperatures. And why? And that is by the, the sun's the, the heating that comes from the sun not being able to escape our atmosphere in the way that it should. Um, and so, and that is because of a number of gases that are now in our atmosphere and that continue to be pumped into the atmosphere that reduce the, the that, that keeps that what we call a greenhouse effect across the, the earth, you know, just like as in a greenhouse, you have those. Um, meshes that would prevent the heat from escaping so it keeps a warmth within a certain area and that is what is happening to our atmosphere mm. the gases the carbon dioxides and and the the um ethanols and all these other gases that are in the atmosphere are contributing to the temperatures just increasing not being able to um have the kind of escape that would normally take place because of that cap that is on our atmosphere and so that's why we're encouraged to use less of the kinds of fuels that will release that kind of um, gas into the atmosphere. Wow. Um, how do we brace for the higher temperatures? What are we to do? 
the truth is we, 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 we just have to make sure that we prepare ourselves in terms of how we ventilate. Um, and we're talking about the ventilation of our homes or our buildings. Um, we, we tend to build to a standard that really um, looks more like North America, you know, where we expect that all windows will be closed up and we'll continue to use air conditioning systems, which also have some release of gases in the, into the atmosphere. The increased use of, of electricity also requires the use of the fossil fuels. So the less of the electricity that we use, the less of the air conditioning will release less of those gases into the atmosphere. So we have to think about the ventilation, making sure that we have natural ventilation with the air being able to pass through the areas. We also need to keep hydrated, uh, use our water efficiently. Um, water um, scarcity is also something that we can very well expect. So we have to know how it is that we are going to control, um, get more of the water for our use and also control the way that we use it so that it lasts for a much longer time. So that's why we encourage where there is rainfall to harvest that rainfall mm. and you know do whatever we can to store and use afterwards. I wish it we had all day, Mr. Thompson, because it's been on my mind, water harvesting, one, for growing what we eat, and two, as you said, there will be a water shortage. We're seeing that and we're hearing that. Um, you know, I don't know what you know, but what advice can you give folks about, um, I, I use Neville's word there, folks, <laughs> I'm hanging out with him too long. <laughs> what can we tell our people about water harvesting? How? What tips do you have? I know you know something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know a little bit, <laughs> but what we have to bear in mind is that we have to get the water before we can harvest it. So, of course, it depends on some rainfall coming in in the first place. So, like, for instance, yesterday, mm -hmm. I believe many of us experienced some rainfall yesterday because of a tropical wave that passed over the island. And in cases like that, we should have been able to collect the water that fell on our roofs, roofs or in, in other areas, you know, being able to control as the water comes in and have it channeled into one drum or some kind of tank that it can be reused. And that is really the principle. It's something that we've applied across Jamaica, mainly in the rural areas in decades past. And that is something that we need to bring back even to our urban areas because it's important that we manage the way that the water is used much more efficiently than we do. Today. Thanks, Mr. Thompson. I didn't know it was a tropical wave, but I saw some devastating images of what happened in some communities with the garbage and the water. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm afraid if that was a tropical wave for a couple of hours, three hours, I mean, what if we reach a hurricane or, you know, and what is projected at the Met Office in the next few months? We're in the season. That's right. And the season quite often will bring these tropical waves. They will move across the island from time to time. You could get one as often as every week. You could see a tropical wave or even two in a week. Mm -hmm. And that is because you have those regular waves in the pattern, in the flow of the, the air going across the country. Sometimes they will bring up quite a bit of moisture. There are other times, though, when the moisture levels will be much lower. It might even pass by unnoticed because it doesn't produce much rainfall. But in this season, we are expecting that we will have an active season. You'll have a lot of tropical storms and tropical depressions and hurricanes that will develop. We've already had three tropical storms develop. None of them affect the Jamaica area, thankfully, mm -hmm. in terms of tropical storms. But these are quite often the main rain producers for this time of the year. And so we have to depend on the tropical waves, the occasional depression and storm that will move close enough to us to produce that kind of rainfall. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we, are ex we are projecting that it will be an active one. We could see lots of activity in the season, but it still doesn't say whether Jamaica will be impacted. You know, it will be something like last year, a very active season. Jamaica wasn't impacted, but we could be a, a Bahamas this year that is significantly impacted by just Oh my goodness, hour. oh my goodness. We stay, um, stay tuned into the Met Office, ODPEM, and to the Emergency Medical Services Ministry of Health. We see Dr. Curdell Espinosa Campbell encouraging residents as well to take necessary steps to stay hydrated and take regular intake of water during this time. Mr. Evan Thompson, thank you so much for sharing with us. And I do pray that together we'll get through it if it happens and that we will be safe. That's right. That's my prayer as well, Empress. All the best. All right. Stay hydrated. <laughs> you too. Yeah. Well, the beaches are open, people, just so you know. Um, 
But yeah, let's stay safe. Director of the Met Office uh, Meteorological Service uh, just joined us and gave us some quick tips on how to stay safe and warning us that there will be higher temperatures. So my people, how can you down during the summer? Cool down. Huh? Cool down. Yeah, how can you cool down? How can you down? Cool down. <laughs> Thanks, Lonnie. <laughs> My people, how can you cool down when it's hot in this summer? We're going to tell you more about that after the break. Thank you. We're so cool. All right? So cool. <laughs>